What's going on, Car Audio? Car Audio better. What's up, James? Okay, cool. How you doing, man? What's up, Matthew? Huh? What's up, Wayne? Luis, Tony. <sighs> Bang from Tennessee. And that's Hi that. from Australia. What's going on? You know, as bad as up, Luis? a week can be, or as good as a week can be. In this case, as bad as a week could be. Knowing that this show is at the end of the week mm -hmm. is is really the only like you it's know a relief. Yeah, like, because it's like one, we know after the show we're done, we get to go home. Yeah. Um, two, we know that when we get to do the show, Bronx. we're done. We're done. We're mm -hmm. done. We get to sit back. Yeah. We get to talk with our friends. Yep. We get to talk about car audio. We get to have a little bit of fun. Share how was the week and everything. We will. We're not gonna. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, try try to forget about the week and all that fun. I have a question. I have a three thirty-five hundred watt amp. Do I actually need compact? I don't compact? Know. You need makeup? I mean, that's a compact. You need a battery? Yeah, probably. Um, good way to decompress. Exactly. So this is kind of like the whole. And of course, tonight. My tonight, way to decompress is like. Speaking of compressed, did you turn off the compressor? Yes. Okay, good. I didn't, but word up. So tonight we're going to Bush Gardens. Hollow Scream. Hollow Scream. So we're bringing all the fam, as it were, and yeah. we're, we're going to go, and I'm bringing Haley and Sue, and you're bringing... Naomi. Naomi and Lyric. Lyric and, and, and my, my yes, niece. Yes, and, yeah. and your wife. Yeah. That'd be nice. Yeah. Wait for part two on the Toyota Fubar, and that'll be Monday. Yeah. So that'll, that'll be something like What's up, Victor? To Monday. How's it going from Maui? From San Francisco. Bay Area. Wish I was in Maui. Maui? Maui, yeah, Maui is fun. I want to go back. Maui and Moana? Yeah. <sighs> yeah, so this was an interesting week. So we had a lot of fun. We got to do the unboxing yeah. of that, that nightmare of an alarm system. And we passed it along to Jeff today. Ooh, so yeah. Jeff Jeff wasn't without presents. So. Um, uh, hang on, Eduardo, no. I would recommend you to get a battery. Uh, you know, because those... Um, Capacitors, they're they, they not doing nothing. So if you, you can get a battery, small battery, that would be awesome. It's a black box, right? How exciting is that? Ooh, it's not box. a black box. So this is the 88 Phoenix 808. So yeah, 808. Um, what's that? Uh, DSP 8.8. .8. Yeah. DSP 8.8. .8. So Jeff brought me one of these guys here. That's funny. I'd it's like, like to say it was a trade, but I feel I made out better. Yeah. So he got I an have some RCA. He got an Avant Garde Ford. I got an 808, 8.8 yeah. .8 DSP. So, a couple of things about this DSP that are unique to this DSP. For one, it's Wi-Fi controlled. Now, this isn't a plug. Jeff gave us to this. This has nothing to do with Phoenix Gold. He works for Phoenix Gold. He works for Amp of America. So oh, he changed his name. Who? Uh, Trucker. Oh, Trucker. Robert. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cool, Robert. What's up? Um, well, I so, mean, that's his name, but I'm not. Jeff gave this to us. He works for them. So yep. and I guess in turn you could say they gave us to us. This is not a paid for endorsement. I only say that because we've been talking about these a lot, which will make a great Christmas gift if you're interested. And, and Kicker didn't give these to us. But no. we're excited to... Anytime we get something cool, we want to share it with you. And this is something cool that we got that we get to play with in the lab. It's probably going to end up in my car. But what's unique about this is this is Wi-Fi controlled. It's, yep. not DS, it's not Bluetooth or anything like that. So you get Wi-Fi streaming for your audio into this. Which means you, get, here you get your tablet control, you get Windows control, and you get Mac control right in the box. Now, and the music. Yeah, and Wi-Fi and and wi music. Yeah, Wi-Fi now, music, the, the not problem, Bluetooth music. The problem that everyone seems to have with this particular is this guy right here. This is the controller for the presets. And mm -hmm. what happens is, is this is also where your Wi-Fi chip is. So this has to get mounted up front somewhere. You don't actually have to have access to it if you're not going to be adjusting the presets. But it has to be up front. If you bury it in the back, guess what? It's not gonna work. No, properly. because this one also is gonna allow you to keep as a master volume control. 
Or, yeah, right. um, yeah, uh, yeah, the dimmer of the lights and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, so that's that's that. We'll play with that more as time goes on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was going to do a cycling, cycling channel. channel, but I don't, don't have, have the time. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about the whole time thing. Uh, Ten yeah. inch Rockford P3 sealed or ported. Ported. Definitely yeah. gonna want ported. Uh, what is that? Was Lewis saying there? Uh. He's they checking about the battery and and oh, all okay. those battery and and so forth. What's up, guys? Much love from three thirteen. Hey, that's the area code. Yeah. Oh, uh, would Wi-Fi be kind of hit and miss and really saturated areas? No, because you got to remember it's a peer-to-peer -peer network. It's not Wi-Fi like everyone gets Wi-Fi confused with Wi-Fi as how you connect to the internet. It's just peer-to-peer. -peer. So. Kind of like when you're in your house and you're streaming to your TV, you're going over a Wi-Fi network that's in the house. It's not actually connecting out to the internet. Mm -hmm. The internet is totally different than Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is how you get from point A to point B, just like Bluetooth is how you get from point A to point B with the magic of the air. So all this is doing is creating an ad hoc Wi-Fi network that will go from your phone or your portable mm -hmm. to this, and mm -hmm. that's it. Nothing else is going on, mm -hmm. so it doesn't, doesn't matter what else is happening you know that's not going to affect it yep um internet it's not doing it's not like you're logging into your facebook or anything like that Correct. it's just creating it's to create the peer-to-peer -peer network it's using wi-fi instead of bluetooth wi-fi is a bigger tube which is what we want so like android auto wireless and apple carplay wireless are is achievable because they're using wi-fi as the tube bluetooth doesn't carry enough information from point a to point b whereas wi-fi will that's why all the new vehicles are going to Wi-Fi. Now, in some of the new vehicles, you have a Wi-Fi enabled hotspot. Now, the hotspot is what's connecting to the internet. The Wi-Fi there, again, is just the tube from your portable device to the hotspot. The hotspot is then going out through cellular and connecting to the internet. All right, to this. Yay. Thank you so much. He's a new Patreon supporter. What do Wi-Fi enabled car devices go uh, do these days? Allow the phone to still stream Dream before G or 3G. Um, really, I don't know. I mean, there again, in this case, the only thing the Wi Fi LTE. is doing is, is just a peer to peer network. Um, what's up, Brad? Scotty, what's going on? Luis? We'll have to see what happens. All right. Um, Dean is an expert. No. Is my L say uh, 35 or 32 hertz per tuning and frequency? What? I'm sorry. I was, um, I was reading the one where it the... says on a 2330. Is it normal for Android Auto to always freeze? If you're using a crappy cable, yes. 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 Um, and you make sure the, the phone is up to date, you know, constantly. All updates, the cable that came with the phone. Yeah. And then you have no USB extensions between whatever came with the radio. Uh -huh. And so, like, if you bought one of those cool little Amazon or eBay flush Extension mount. Thing. No. Yeah. Make sure mm -hmm. it's certified, Gotta something like that. that. Yeah. Um, about the P3 Rockford. Punch. I'm sorry. Okay. Rockford P3s. What about it? Uh, he say 35 or 32 hertz oh, for the tuning frequency. 30, 32 seems to be the magic number. Okay. Um, 32. Uh, Mike Eckley failed to mention the stint in Augusta, Georgia before heading to uh, Arizona. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, he oh, worked cool, so man. many places. I mean, good gosh. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure he forgot. Uh, you guys have some damn good installs. Well, thank you. Your weight loss, I'm starting my weight this Monday. Don't start Monday. That's the one thing. I, I wrote an article about this on my Facebook page. Yes, everyone needs to start, and they need to, you know, whatever it is you want to do. If you want to lose weight, you want to make more money, you want to be healthy, you want to, you, you want to do something to make yourself better. We all are trying. Um, even this is a pain in the butt, and, you know, you're moving on. Never, never rest. But don't start tomorrow what you can start today. A lot of people, like when, when Haley and I would go out and we do running, mm -hmm. We'll start at that next sign, Dad. We'll start at the sign. We'll start at the sign. I'm going, let's start now. No, no, we'll start at the sign. I get a lot of people need that, that like, that start point. I need a start point. I need a line. But that's all in your head. If you want to do something, start now. And don't be afraid of failure, okay? If you start something and you fail, you failed that moment. It doesn't matter. It's a, there's another moment after that. Start again. You're going to fail again. Okay. <laughs> Failure is, is nothing more than an ability to start over and keep going. Right. You know, if, if, if you fall That's off the you wagon, learn. You, 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 okay, hey, it happened. Yeah. Stuff happens. Um, keep going. Don't worry about it. You know, if you all of a sudden you have a... Car gift. What's going just, on, Just man? keep moving. Don't give up. 
Yeah. Um, we're not perfect things. We're human. And that brings us to the next point, uh, Patreon. So if you guys are Patreon members or like to become Patreon members, you get a, f you free, get a video. free video podcast. The rest of you guys get the podcast about a week later. And but no if you're a Patreon, audio. you get a video version, and you're the only ones that are going to get it. And the reason why I brought that up is because on the podcast this week, we talk about having being installers and having to be 100% perfect all the time. Because after all, what we do we can never fail. And we all know that's unobtainable. That has to do with the conversation we were having so about starting So if you want something. to know more, you can go and listen to the podcast. Or if you're a Patreon member, you can watch the podcast. Now, the podcast won't be available until next week because you guys are going to get it a week later. The Patreons get it a week early. Whoa. Not that we're trying to twist your arm to join the Patreon club, but if you want to, that's the benefit you get. All right. DNF Toolbar so, also. Okay, go on. Can a DSR-1 be used Love on a system video. without factory amplifier? Yeah. yeah so the DSR-1 will yeah. connect three ways. It'll connect through the AR, which is the iData interface, mm -hmm. T-Harness. It'll do high level, which means it has four channels of input, meaning one, two, three, four, front, left, right, rear. Okay. Andrew, thank you. And then it has four RCA inputs. Okay. And it also has an auxiliary input. So there's actually four ways you can use the thing. So yeah, you can, as long as you don't have to do any summing, mm -hmm. DSR up, one Christian? all day long. Hello from UK. Yes, Christian, I was waiting. As soon as we mentioned DSR one and Christian's on, Christian has had a DSR-1 now for, he's probably had one of the longest that I know of, because he was one of the probably first ones he, we sold he, one yeah. to, mm -hmm. and even he was giving us pointers on it. Yeah, so. yeah, that was cool. Thank yeah. you. We got to shoot that video. I'm a new new to Patreon. Thank you, Andrew. All right. Hey, guys. Thoughts on the I love the um, video podcast, especially the last one. Thanks, Victor. Thank Always you, thinking of you, baby. Uh, thoughts on the Hurdy <laughs> and the Hurts Melee. Dean and Fernando, motivational speech. Feels so good. <laughs> there you go, okay. man. Uh, and the Hurts Melee. What about? What are your thoughts? Um, I okay. Six by nine. I'm sorry. So as everyone, all right. So we've talked about when when Hertz changed from energy high yeah. energy to uh, Cento Milli Milli Pro and or Milli Pro, Legend Milli Pro. Cento Pros. Um, so they've they've moved the line around, and I was a big fan of energy and high energy, and a bit of a curmudgeon, I might say, when it comes to hey, don't mess with my speaker. I like the way it was. Yeah. And that's not to say I still don't like the way it was. But I do like the Millies better. And Shane, um, the audio control 4.800, that will be awesome for those speakers. Cool. Um, what is the RMS uh, kicker ballpark going to offer in the new key? Um, the new key or the current key? The, new, the current key is 70. The new key, Ooh. your guess is as good as mine. Yeah. Bart is keeping that one right here. Right here, close to his chest Where? vest. Oh. Um, we just talked, actually we got to talk to Bart this week because he's letting... That was yesterday. Uh, was it yesterday? This week has just been a blur. before, I don't because know. Because he's letting Bill, John, John Myers, Bill, John. John Myers, Bill, John, Jim, Jim, Barry, Jeff. Yeah. John Myers, some of you may know John Myers, if you've ever watched the show Overhauling, he was the guy that was on there from Kicker that always built the stereos in Overhauling. He's going to be here November 12th, that's a Monday cool. for the show. John Myers. John Myers. John Myers is going to be here on the show. Um, that's going to be fun, but that's going to be November 12th. Uh, but right now, okay, so we know Kicker is going to expand upon that, but we there's they're not telling anybody anything. They're being really hush hush. Um, so Rich, uh, yes. Thanks for uh, loving the show. By actually, the way. they push really good that subwoofer, and we use it as a three channel uh, system. So yeah. Really good. Paul won't ship product to Australia. Sorry. Do, uh, no. no, we never get to use the Marsconi amps. Um, you got to... Uh, okay. Uh, what does that say? Fernanda, have you beat the amp up in your ride? How's it holding up? Oh, it's cool. Like I say, you know, I mean... Michael Myers. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> nice one, Victor. Um, so you've had, you've had it... F what? Four to three. Three days? You've, three days. Three four days. days. Uh, four days, but three days you've actually been able to use it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, I mean it's. It has it, never cut off. Nope, nope. No. Ball, and I and I put the, the volume all the way up. Now we're not running with the DSP yet, so it's literally as you guys saw it. It's been that way since it's left, and that was this week. So mm -hmm. um, that was that was real time. We actually filmed it the, the day before it came out on video. So that that was one of the few videos that was there was no lag like there's normally a lag on a lot of our videos mm -hmm. 
He's what up from Michael Norris? Myers. Yeah. Um, Who? Uh, what? Uh, Michael Myers is from, you know, um, Halloween. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I know, but I'm like, what? So, uh, yeah, that was that. Oh, now back to the, the um, question about the uh, amplifiers. Have we never used mm -hmm. the, the other Orcas, um, which is going to be the Moscone? Mm -hmm. um, so, I come from a background that is Focal, that is morale that that is hurts and, and it is all that stuff that um, my previous employer was into high-end audio so that's where I came from Paul came from the other side of the street to where he started down here with you know the American bass and the loudspeakers and stuff like that we need a transfer problem um, okay so guys let us know if you any any problems you know some updates on the on this thing but no, you gotta shut off the TV that's why. Because it's, it's just the TV? Shut. Yeah, you just gotta shut. Okay. So just let us know what's going on. Okay. No problem. Okay, so we keep anyways, going. Anyway, so what, what that basically means is that we, we've had to do this road where we're bringing, bringing in higher end products and doing away with some of the lower end products and, and training Paul to deal with that kind of thing. Air conditioner. Oh, um, that was neat. So, Moscone, sometime in the future would be cool. Um, ooh, we're bringing in the Focal lamps. Remember those we were looking yeah, at? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Ooh, I know, we just looked at those, that five channel. Ooh. Um, so that'll be cool. So yeah, this, uh, sorry guys, didn't, didn't mean to, to cut anyone off here. Um, we were just looking, and uh, yeah, right. Because they, Murat Focal makes these little, these I'm little guys right here right that here. are really cute. And dude, so for those guys don't know, specifications. They make a two, uh, two by a two point seven five zero, two by seventy five, but at two ohms, at two ohms. Now you're saying who runs two ohm speakers? Focal K 2s come in two ohms, two by three hundred and eighty five watts. Yes. Boom. Boom is right. <laughs> so now you take that. What's that from PV? You take that and you take the four channel. Yeah. Four channel on rear and sub, two channel on front. Oh my God. Yes. So the new Focal company, the same as the one that makes speakers from four General Motors. I didn't know they made speakers for General Motors, mm -hmm. but it is the same company. What's up, Darren? Um, but yeah, actually, it's funny. If, uh, if, you, guys, uh, if you guys are on Instagram, um, there's a gentleman named The Real Maddie. Uh-huh. The Real Maddie, he works up in uh, New Hampshire or something sound, like that. Sound effects. Sound effects. He, uh, he does all the um, Teslas. Teslas. That's his thing. Um, puts all the pictures. Um, it's called the Musica. Anyways, he's over in... Music. He's over in Italy right now. Yeah. Or France. France. He's over in France, sorry. Yeah. He's over in France. Hertz Audison is the time. Hertz he's over in France right now, and he's touring all the Focal stuff. So he's been posting pictures of the Focal... Uh, listing rooms, the plant where they build the home speakers and stuff like that. So it's been kind of cool. Uh, lucky him. Yeah. But he's a big Focal dealer up there. They are. They are. What's in the there. kicker box behind you? Um, so there's a couple boxes behind me. So this one is the. This is the Bullfrog, which you see right there. This one is the KX. 800.1 kxa 800.1 we have this now kicker did send us this this is straight from kicker so this is and we yeah. requested this amplifier because we want to review it because of all the features that it has that most people don't even know about such as the distortion detector it has built into it mm -hmm. such as the harmonic restoration device yeah. which is called aftershock, aftershock. Um, which is similar to a product made by another manufacturer yep. that, that's center. But it's this. But it's yep. Epa. Yep. And um, yeah, the, the real, real Maddie, Maddie's. that's him. Yeah. Terrence, it's definitely him. So if you want to see some of the pictures from Raquel. But anyways, they sent us this guy here, so we're hopefully going to get to play with this real uh, soon. The, the ball frog, it's around like what? 300 have, bucks? Mm, something, something like that. Like that. You no can idea. go and kick it online and, and type. You're going to find out. Uh, processor or is there an IQ <coughs> uh, for what? Uh, is it adjustable processor built into it for the for I don't know. Um, yes, it, it you can adjust the epi, epi, the, the yeah the aftershock sensor, but it doesn't have any like DSP built into it. Hello from Brazil. Can, like bass treble balance or okay brain farting here. Moral focal or just a crossover. 
Okay, sorry. Morel. Has anybody Bocal, heard from Hurt. James? James was just on here. Yeah. James, James was on here just a minute ago. So yeah, yeah he's he got listening. a home channel. Do you know what it's called? Um, James. Um, okay. Hold on. Hold on. I got it right here. Uh, so what? Um, car those audio, etc. Car audio, etc. James. He has a home channel now because he's doing home stuff, and it is. Oh, hold on. Um. Hello from Sound, Kinker, it's Oklahoma. Called, it's called Soundline, Soundline Audio New Zealand. Yep. Because he's in New Zealand. In case you guys know that, that's where he's at. So it's Soundline Audio New Zealand. Hey, remember Jim? Jim Banks? That's from oh, yeah. Kinker, Oklahoma. Yeah. What's up, Jim? What's up, Jim? Hello from London. What's going on, buddy? I'm trying to see his picture. Um. Hey, James, good channel. Okay, okay, so where uh, are we at? Hey guys, question. Maybe you are familiar with the phase linear Mac audio. Uh, in Europe it was in the benchmark for subs. Phase linear, I do remember phase linear. Um, what is your choice nowadays as one of the best SQ subwoofers? Hmm. Fernando, you can call on Monday. So, editing a video for the channel of the day. There you go, guys. Cardio etc. James is right there at the top wow, of the page. Editing a video for the uh, for his other channel. Um, so sound quality wise, I just, okay, so a buddy of mine was in the other day, um, actually Bill, yeah. he used to work with me at AVE, mm -hmm. and uh, he's off doing his own thing, but he's a big Alpine fan, and Alpine just came out with the X-Type subwoofers. Now, I will give Alpine a little bit of credit here in that their line of subwoofers, X-Type specifically, has always been an amazing Mm -hmm. amazing sounding subwoofer mm -hmm. um that's not to say that there aren't plenty of subwoofers out there that are that are better yep um but for an sq subwoofer that x type subwoofer both old and the current version have been phenomenal for thank that. you victor uh bullpog bs 400 330 bucks this there is a go. 200 this is the this 400 is, is bigger we're waiting for that one now kicker might be sending us that one if they do we'll be sure to tell you and we have yes. this Ah, this is this is the cool one right here. This is the Haley gift. Shh, don't tell her. Um, this is waterproof, so this will float in a pool and do all this fun stuff like that. And you still can put it on a stand if you want. The cool thing about these, they have speakers on both sides. All right, we won't talk about these anymore. We've talked about these a lot. Yep. So, um, all right. Okay, go ahead. I'm trying to. It's just like, uh, let's see. Uh, did my Chrysler 300C with pack? CH11 after watching the videos. Thanks for all the info. Went smooth. Won a big slam. Cool. That's awesome. Cool. You did it. Uh, what is the best shell what is the best shallow man subwoofer? Everybody tells me that's the JL. A lot of people like the JL, and there's nothing wrong with the JL. The JL is really cool. Uh, we're not a JL dealer, nope. so naturally we had a journey out past the oh my god, I have a JL. My favorite shallow, that would be the T1. The Shop. T1 is really nice. Now, the only the problem with the, the T1 is that the T1 is as tall outside as it is deep in the box. So, if you're trying to downfire it, the T1 yeah. is not going to be the woofer you're going to want for downfiring. Mm -hmm. um, however, uh, the most cost effective, best sounding shallow mount woofer, in my personal opinion, is the Comp RT. Okay. I, yeah. like, I like that one. Yeah. Wouldn't it be neat Pretty if fun. they made that in a square version? Like an L7 square? Oh, oh man, so that's cool. a dream, man. That's, that's a dream, a dream yeah. <laughs> um uh what's a good amp to push two 15s well, it depends what kind of 15s are they how yeah. much power do they need there's plenty of amps out there that do it this 801 would push the hell out of two 15s if they can handle 400 to 500 watts a piece so it's up yeah. to you yeah. uh do you recommend upgrading alternators or adding second batteries i personally like to add the second battery first because most of the time most people the way they drive um, the battery, like adding a small uh, excess power or stinger battery to the back will get mm -hmm. the job done without going crazy and adding in a alternator and all that. Now, if you've got the money, go for the alternator. Thank but you. I would definitely add the second battery first. Now, anytime you're gonna add a second battery, make sure you put a fuse holder at the second battery and under the hood. The fuse holders are there to protect your car, not anything else because 
If you have a battery, I keep going out of frame. If you have a battery under the hood yep. and you have a battery in the back, there's a firewall in the middle and then carpet and running boards and all that fun stuff. So you want to put a fuse here and a fuse here to protect all that stuff. That way, if this battery decides it wants to short out, it blows that fuse and it blows that fuse and nothing happens to your car. You get to drive home. All right. I'm going to say a little bit something in Spanish. Yeah. Um, no tenemos todo el tiempo para hablar en español y en inglés, si no sería un, un show demasiado largo. Pero cualquier cosita que necesiten, pueden mandar un mensaje y podemos tratar a ver si podemos este, responderles la pregunta. Uh, right. The one guy said, I think it's time to put uh, Kicker to put Dean on the payroll. If I'm on the payroll, <laughs> I'd have to move to Oklahoma, which would mean earthquakes and oh, they have um, hail. Remember the hail? Yeah. That would freak me out. Um, I couldn't live with hail because you'd dent my car. So I'd have to get a piece of crap car. Um, which, not saying my car isn't a piece of crap, but. That's Fernando <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Thanks, Andrew. What Fernando I said. Yeah, right, right. I know. I okay. Know, man. Um, I just say, I have a 2005 GMC Sierra with Bose system with factory amplifier that controls my speakers. Can I replace it? Uh, with a different amp, I also have DB Drive tweeters. Tweeters. Um, from the factory ones. So you have a 2005. Are you planning on replacing the radio? Would be my first question. If you're planning on replacing the radio, you can do whatever you want. If it's 2005 and you're planning on keeping the radio, Get replace right the, the radio down. and do whatever you want. Um, once you've done that, go ahead and take the factory Bose amplifier out and just do anything you want. That's it. You can just go to town. Um, JVC miswiring error. Now that's a great question, miswiring errors. Let's talk about that for a few seconds. No matter, it, it is a JVC, it is a Kenwood, or it is a Pioneer, and Alpine probably does something too. Mm -hmm. Everyone does something a little different, but what it's basically telling you is somewhere one of the outputs, that's key, one of the outputs is shorted out, okay? Now an output is anything that's putting out sound. That could be an RCA or it could be a speaker wire, okay? That's key because sometimes people are like, well, I'm not running speaker wires. How could I have a short? Well, the way you could have a short is anytime you watch our videos, you see that we cap off the ends of all our speaker wires. The reason why we do that is because one of the things that happens and the reason why we do it is because it did happen. Uh, I just cut the wires, taped it up. Well, those wires, one little hair touched the one little hair on the other one, missed wiring. Great. Yay. So you have to cap off or tape off individually each one of those little wires. So none of them touched. Now, if you're just running RCAs and it says miswiring, that'd be the first thing I'd check is the harness. And then otherwise, I would check the RCA, media transfer problem. That's wonderful. That's crazy. Um, we'll probably have to get them out here to check the uh, internet. It's uh, probably sucking. we got to do um, the update. It's not the update, man. It's just the internet sucks. Um, so, you, you know, you have to check any one of those issues to see if that's where the problem is. If it is an amplifier, meaning you're using the factory amp is going off to speakers and all four speakers have sound, mm -hmm. believe it or not, you can have a shorter voice coil. Which, basically what you want to end up doing is disconnecting all the wires behind the radio, whether it's to a speaker or not, and hook up one at a time. And, you can, and, and then, then you just find work out. your way through the problem. So if you hook up, the other thing too, you can use your digital multimeter, set it to continuity, and test unplug it from the radio, mm -hmm. take one lead, go to ground, and then just test each one to see if you get any continuity. If you get any one that moves or gives you any continuity whatsoever, that's the channel that's bad. Mm -hmm. uh, continuity is when you take the two leads and go, see, do that. One to ground, each speaker wire. If you get any of them to make noise or move or do anything like that, there's where your problem is. All right, uh, I enjoyed your show, great work. Any recommendation for an amp repair shop? Not a clue. Call it a no. no. Uh, what is a high end seven inch Kenwood name? The the higher ends are the XRs. If you go to Kenwood.com, there's a whole section. It's like Exelon, and then they have an XR page. That, just go there. The, the, it's an XR something or other. I honestly don't know all their part numbers, but the seven inch speakers that are better. There's two Exelon models. The XRs are the higher end ones. Uh, hey, what cheap Android Auto do you recommend? Uh, um, you can not go, the cheapest one. No, 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 no. Just go with the the MV. If you don't need a CD DVD player, MVH? the cheapest one is going to be the uh, Pioneer MVH twenty four hundred yeah. NEX. Yeah, yeah, that's probably the cheapest one that I can yeah. think of. Uh, what do you guys think about Pioneer six point nine five ways? I think it's a funny speaker. If you want the loudest, most inexpensive, loudest. Uh, Most speaker having. Do you know what year is the Prelude? 
the for the alarm Jeff? prelude jeff i want to say it's an early 90s okay um i've only seen it once what once he gets started on it we'll we'll follow up with him and we'll kind of we'll go shoot some videos and kind of tag along for the ride don't worry we're not going to tease you guys and say he's building something once he gets going on it then we'll bring you guys along Hello to have from some Brazil. fun. Oh, ah. Daryl, thank you for buying a shirt from Teespring. Which oh. one did you get? Cool, man. Um, but there again, for the five-way Pioneer 6.9s, I, I don't understand those things, man. I mean, we sell them. We've got them. I, and by what I mean we sell them is we have them in stock. I've never personally ever sold a pair other than one time I had a guy come in, which you could probably just say this better than I could just because of your accent. Um, Do you have a set of five-way 6.9s? <laughs> and I go, yeah, That's here they good. are. I'll take them. Um, is the XR line the closest thing to high-end components? Yeah, the XR uh, the XR line are Kenwood's high-end components. Yep. They yep. are the closest. They are what Kenwood would call high-end component. So, oh, hello from Oklahoma. Right. We were just talking about Oklahoma. Does time alignment or works at the same our home theaters? I, I mean, have yeah. a Yamaha receiver that comes with a mic to set up. Yeah. Okay. Give it a uh, try. Yeah you, can, with, yeah, you should be able to use that same mic. Ken with KDC X502, uh, the Bluetooth keeps freezing. Yeah. And I always have to reset what to look for. Hmm. Hmm. That's a tough one. Because it could be the phone or it could just be a bad Bluetooth chip in the so radio. So try to uh, remove... Try a different phone. Try to remove your phone from the radio and the radio... Uh, uh, delete everything. And see if it actually works. And try a different phone. Try a different phone. Hi from Puerto Rico. Borrow a phone. Borrow. Get, grab a buddy's phone. See if that helps. That's Why? that's what we do. We yeah. always just when a customer comes in with problems with their phone, we always pair one of our phones to it and see if we can get <laughs> it to, to to do the same thing. Um, Hello from Alaska. What's going on? Five way air hose. Very. What's up from Kentucky? Uh, okay, video output low. YouTube is not receiving enough maintained smooth streaming, such as viewers' experience will be buffing. Okay, this ah, has been a fun show. Um, that's crazy. Like right now, every like it doesn't have cut out. Okay. Yeah, you you good. I mean, it's nothing you can do. Right. Um, we don't kill uh, Sundown. Uh, we actually care. Carry. We actually carry. Um, Scar. Scar. So you can go to scar.com and you can check all those uh, amplifiers like the 2000, hey, 2500. Hey, connection sucks. Thanks, Jeff. For we're, 215. We're, we're experiencing that. We don't know what the heck is going on. Yeah. I know, man. That sucks. Bye, Andrew. Have a great weekend. Thank you. You're good now. Okay. Okay. Um. Hmm. We'll do the update and then we'll see if uh, yeah, we can get so. we can get uh, goofballs out here on Monday. Yeah. Uh, take a look at this. Get, cause this is, We've got to try yeah. on Monday morning. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, do you guys know where I could find the eight-inch speaker adapters for the GM? To s oh, yeah, I know what? the Alpine used to sell. Um. I I don't know if they were ever available through through Pack Parts. Um, Pack Parts. Uh, dot com, not Pack Dash Audio to be confused with them. It's called Pack Parts. It's actually a parts company that sells all the parts for Alpine, Kenwood, Pioneer. Uh, they're out of California. It's, it's PC, Pacific Coast. Anyways, Pack Parts is where you find all the parts, like stuff like that. If it's going to be available, that would be where. Mm -hmm. uh, we honestly just make them, because um, you can you can you can make them if you have some plastic, but. Yeah, that would be cool. I, we were just talking about that today because Focal in their uh, integration series has an 8-inch component now. Mm -hmm. Remember we saw that when we were at Knowledge Fest. So we're going to order the amps. We're going to get the 8-inch in yep, so, eight inch. so we can start throwing those in the doors of the GMs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What brand 6x9 would you use? We use a lot. So... <sighs> like what we use... It really comes down to the money you want to spend on anything. You know, if, if I have my, hey, what am I going to buy? Um, you know, on the, on the expensive side, you have like your X-Type. Personally, like the Morel makes a uh, 6x9 component, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. Focal makes one that's right around the same basic price. Um, very, on, on the lower side, Pioneer makes a set, and so does uh, Pioneer makes two sets? Two sets now. Mm -hmm. 
And Alpine also has the S types. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of component six by nines out there now that are that are really nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can yeah. choose. Uh, all right. Uh, do you know where can I get a where where can I find the eight inch speaker adapter for GM? Yeah, yeah, we, we covered that. Yeah. Uh, Alaska needs good installers. Most places here charge a premium because we're in Alaska and they suck. Was the performance out of who's out of Alaska? Yeah. But there again, I mean, it's Alaska is a big place. Mm. All right. All right. Do you know any alternatives to the Q Logic kick panels? No. For 1999 GMC Sierra. Other than making them yourself? No. Uh -huh. Um, will you ever do big car stereo install? What do you mean by big car stereo, Jim? If you're talking like a wall with 50, you know, all that kind of stuff, probably not. We're not really set up to do that kind of thing. No. Um, if you're talking about like stupid expensive, like, you know, 15, 20,000 bucks, yeah, there again, probably not because the, that's really not what we're set up to do. We're more set up to do the day-to-day, -day, you know, something that's going to take, you know, can get done in a couple hours up to a two-day style install that doesn't Three really days. involve any customs yeah. other than maybe mounting locations, but we're not fabbing up boxes and stuff like that. So I, I don't, you know, other than what we do, which, you know, we've, we've showed extensively, I, I think that's probably what we're going to keep doing yeah. for, for the immediate future. Um, will that ever change? I, I don't know. You never mm -hmm. know. I mean... Right now, we just don't have the facility to get real crazy. I mean, you, you you know, if you guys ever get the opportunity to come see us, which we encourage, you're more than welcome to stop by and say hi. Um, yeah. It looks a lot smaller than it is in video. We shoot with a wide-angle camera, so it's tiny. We have, you know, this is a very small install bay, so. Yeah. Hey, Markland, what's going on? Perfection Auto Sound is out of Alaska. See, thank there you. you. Go, I man. thought it was uh, Perfection. How's it going, buddy? Um... What app, uh, what app do you recommend for 215 hours? I have no idea what that means. Uh, guys, just got my stickers in the mail. Cool. Thank you. So we do still have some stickers that are available. We're going to get more. So those of you guys that don't know, you can get the stickers at uh, five star stickers at yahoo.com. Just give us your address, not your email address. We need your actual address. And there you go. Oh, L7. Okay. Um, and then we'll sell you, we'll send you three stickers. So that's uh, what app, amp, app? What do you amp? Probably is what two, amp. Oh, uh, what amp do you recommend? I, I was like a Bible verse. I'm not yeah, gonna lie. just check uh, one of the cards. 215 L7s. Um, two, I mean, if you want hey, to. You know what? They make a, check the audio control 1500. I was going to say go with the, the bigger brother to the um, this. Okay. I mean, if you want something that's it's affordable, plenty amplifiers you, want, if you can pick. Something that's pit. affordable, the Scar R, what is it, the RP series? Yeah. They make RP a series, 2000. The 2000. Yeah. That's, that's like saying. super affordable. If you want something better, like he said, the new audio control is really nice. Or this is the 800. They make a step up from this, mm -hmm. which would be really nice too. So yeah. this is the, you know, if you want to go to the KA series and have some fun. Hey, if you guys want to have some fun. Like, just like you're bored one night on the internet, you just want to start looking stuff up. Yeah. Believe it or not, if you go to Kicker's website, they're, again, not a paid-for endorsement. If you go to the tech support, they have a whole, like, white page section there of just, like, tech crap. Like, just all kinds of neat stuff to read um, that is just car audio related. It's not necessarily Kicker related. It's just car audio related. It's really kind of a fun rat hole if you're into reading. If you're not into reading, it's not pictures. So mm -hmm. it's not a pop-up book. Um, but yeah, their website has a ton of just tech briefs that are really neat and fun to read. Um, what do you guys recommend for under the seat of a Ford, what was that, Ranger? I didn't see where it went. Oh, damn. What is it? What are you talking about? I don't know. Speaking of big installs, love the Dakota video. There you um, go. We get the ABS from this company, close from us, calls Farco. Uh, Farco Plastic, right here. Chivo Kicker CX1800. Ooh, yeah, good one. There I forgot go. about that one. Kicker makes the CX1800. Nice amp for the money. Fred, uh, go with mid bass speaker components and an AB. <laughs> AD, yeah, okay. okay. Uh, what's up from Baltimore? Um, what's up? Do you guys have any experience with 
Ground Zero amplifiers and speakers. No, unfortunately not. Good night from New York. Um, what radio harness you guys recommend for uh, replacing the factory radio on a Lexus? As you guys know, anytime you need a Ranger. Thank you. Um, Ford Ranger. Ooh, that's a tough one. Man, damn. Um, Bright Star Car Audio. Give them a call, ask for Sean, or go to their website, see what they have. They would be the ones you'd want to talk to as far as the box goes. Whether you get it from them or not, I mean, you can always play with Sean and have some fun. Yep. I'm sure he would love that. Uh, as far as dash kits and wiring harnesses go, there's a couple places you can go to find what you need. Obviously, right off the bat, you're going to go pack-audio.com. If they don't have what you need, then you go to metraonline.com. If they don't have what you need, then you go to... Um, uh, what's what's the what's the what's the next one where we get the Lexus stuff? Uh, um, oh man! I just got the big new phone and it's driving me crazy because it doesn't have the button on the bottom. Not gonna lie, um, kind of missed the Beat button. Beatsonic. Beatsonic. Thank you. Beatsonic. Uh, Beatsonic doesn't have what you want. You go to Connects Two. Dot Co. Yep. Uh, and if they don't have what you want, you could try Nav TV. Uh, and then somewhere in there you could try Maestro, but Maestro is really limited on the dash kit things. And that's really about it. Yeah. So those are all the places you can check to see if they have kits and harnesses for your car. Leesburg, Florida, saying hello. Hello. Yeah. All right. Hey, guys. Great show. I'm installing a Pack Amp Pro on the Pack Harness in a 2018 Sony uh, Power F250. Beats on Yes, Wayne. Thank yeah. you. New Saab speakers, Kingwood 5 channel amp. Have you guys used the harness yet? And it is easy Sims to Sims? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's the the, the T harness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the T harness, we've used them, they're great. Make life so much easier. Um, bit of inside baseball, as it was. If you guys ever saw the Ant Pro video that we did in the Ford F-150 two years ago, or a year ago when that first came out, um, one of the products we had in that was the Ant Pro, and of course it was all Phoenix Gold, so uh, we were working with them to come up with the products. Like they gave us the Ant Pro, the customer bought all the Phoenix Gold stuff at a discounted price that allowed us to make the video. What we couldn't talk about at the time was we actually had a T-harness. Hi, Nicole. Um, so we kind of grazed over that a yep. bit and didn't mention it, but we actually had the T-harness back then. It was a sample and we actually had to run to the engineer's house to get it and to put it in and it was really fun but we couldn't talk about it back then so yes the t-harnesses work great and are awesome need more tiers for patreon guys How, i mean it, I, I i mean just <laughs> three bucks i mean i mean honestly just finding something to make patreon worthwhile which yeah. is getting the the doing the podcast is is great um i, I don't i don't i you know this is all new to us. We're working our ways through it. Um, as far as Patreon goes, we, we have a few. It's fun. We're having. We're finally adding some value into it for you guys. Obviously, we want to grow it and figure out what else we can do with it. We're going to see how it pans out here in the future. Um, we also, a couple of you guys have wanted us to turn the tips on on this. We just didn't have time this week, so eventually we'll hopefully get around to that. All um, right. What is? The, how do you spell this? Embry? Yeah, it looks like Embry. All right. Hello to Embry. He's eight years old. Take my money, damn it. I'm, try I'm trying. Wow. I mean, you know, just just mail it to me in small pouches. I'll gladly take it. <laughs> 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 envelopes, you know. Yeah. It's like when Butch brought out the stickers the other day. Yeah, yeah. brought him that white envelope. I was like, what are you giving me, cash? I mean, no, they're Pretty stickers. Much. Um, uh, thanks, God. I literally I watched the that. Edifice video money. twice in the past two days. Yeah, so... That was, if we, we kind of like, we kind of pan past that, but there is a T-harness being used in that. At the time we had to make it, so like they had the parts, it wasn't actually made. The one nice thing about the Ford and the T-harness is that it has the resistors in it, and this is the key at the Ford. If you don't use the T-harness, if you just whack off the harness or yeah. run new wires or do whatever, there's a chime, that nice beautiful chime that your Fords have, that, that dong, dong. Okay, that disappears, and it goes up into the gauge cluster. There's a piezo sensor up there, and what that piezo is for is that if you manage to blow all the speakers in your car, because the chime is coming from the speakers, they need another chime. So once, 
Once it senses there's no load on the radio, the factory amplifier, it shuts down that chime and defaults to this nasty chime in the dash. Mm -hmm. So by putting the load on the speakers, which is in that T-harness, it retains that factory chime, that nice sounding chime. So one of the other reasons to buy the T-harness. Anybody around Baltimore? Uh, that'd be Ada. Uh, uh, no. Yeah, isn't he in Baltimore? Really? Yeah, Baltimore, yeah. Maryland, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, okay. that's where Ad is at. So, All right. Uh, what's, what's the <laughs> this shop? Is cool. Give me the name of the um, shop. Absolute Electronics. There Check you go. it out. Uh, all right. This is cool. I have the money. You too, Sergio. It's cruise, uh, cruise, whatever. Yep. Have a great one. Yep, cruise, cruise, cruise. Uh, have you... I have the money. Will you guys do a door pads and a big system again? Uh, no. No. No, no. It's, it's nothing personal. It's not the, no, uh, it's just like I said. We just don't have. We just don't. Don't have, have the time. The facility, or I mean, time is one thing. If the money yeah, is but, right, the time is there. That's you know, as we say, money and time fix everything. Um, <laughs> but it's it's just it's, a matter of we just don't have. We're not set up to do that anymore. I haven't built a box in years. Years. Yeah. Um, and it's like riding a bike once you Rockville, Maryland. Yeah, 45 minutes from Baltimore. There you go. Uh, thank you, Axeman. Um, but it's just it's just not anything we're set up to do anymore. I mean, there you I go. still Check have all Wayne. the tools and I still have all that, but uh, you know, I mean, it's what it is. I mean, I gladly take your money, but uh, is there any aftermarket radios that fit? No. The, the new JL Jeeps. There's nothing out yet. The new JL Jeeps are still a. Uh, hmm. Alpine is supposedly working on their screen for that, but we'll see how that goes. Any plan for CES 2019? No, I'm not doing CES. I, I, SEMA would have been cool, and we were trying to work out something to get to SEMA, but mm, tell Paul to get a bigger building. We want to. We want to, Jim. The problem is, okay, you got me making excuses for things, and I hate to make excuses. Mm -hmm. The reality of it is, is our location here, though is small and small, small mm -hmm. it's in a really good part of town where we have a lot of traffic that this go by good, good location and, and we love our location mm -hmm. we would like to expand in the plaza more but right now we're kind of stuck so that's really our, our big thing is that this location is really nice mm -hmm. and we don't want to leave this location so there's nothing else around us so we have to pick up and and go someplace else and paul's just not ready to do that yet open your own yeah <laughs> uh, like I need the headache. Um, uh, All right. So yeah. actually, when say since we do many fours, yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Have you, okay. Have you interested? Uh huh. In yeah, you're killing it. Into the BO system yet? Uh, I into the BO custom, system. Yeah. Yeah, we've done the BO. We've done the nav TV and the BO. Funny you should ask. Yeah. We man. actually filmed the nav TV BO system three, four, five months ago. Yep. Uh, we've been sitting on it uh, because there were some problems. Um, and we were waiting to get those problems resolved before we put the video out because we knew there would be questions that we just didn't have answers for. Correct. Fortunately, part it's of the solution. fun that we've had this week uh, was yesterday the gentleman that had the system between us, Nav TV, and Audio Control. We Correct. finally got all the pieces of the puzzles put together and knock on wood. We got that bad boy figured out. Everything should be working fine. Um, so we filmed, an, we filmed an epilogue last night that kind of went over what the problem was. And if God willing, the video gods have shine upon me next week, mm -hmm. you guys will finally get to see the B&O system and the Ford Raptor. Yeah, Ford Raptor. God, that'll be yeah. great, wouldn't it? Oh, and it'll be a two-parter, that's for sure, because it yeah. was a long one. Um, but yeah, so we've done it. It's an ever-evolving thing with He the, used the 608 because he was asking like, Yep, used the 608. Uh, he used the 608. Um, went from a 608 into an LC 4.800 and a Scar Audio 2000. 2000. Yeah, cuz he has four LC L7 L7 8s. Yeah, four. underneath the back seat of an F150. Um yeah, Dean you oh, what does it say? Dean you have been this show. The question is okay. not important. <laughs> Yeah, I know, you. I know, right? Yeah, but eh, it's, yeah, it's eh, cool. we're not there yet. Yeah. Ah, cool, Brian. Cool. You know, you, know, you guys got to remember this train. 
th th this train was never made to be this train. Like, we, we didn't intend... Like, there's people now that want to go out and they want to start a YouTube channel. And they, they, like, they're all excited about doing this. And I encourage it. I feel everyone should, should film their lives and have fun with it. That's why uh, The Boring Life of Dean and Haley exists. So that, you know, we can... She wanted to be involved more on YouTube. She likes watching YouTube. And, and it was just something fun for us as a family to do. Um, and that's why we called it the boring life because let's be honest most people as families It's pretty boring what you do as an yep. individual or with your family. Why would anyone want to watch it? Mm -hmm. So hmm Aloha Anyways, so the YouTube thing was never was never part of the plan. No, no It's no, no, turned no, no, into no. this and we've grabbed onto it and we're trying to hold on as tight as we can and run, run with it and you know, because we have Sometimes you guys, like, ah, and, and you guys are, are becoming a big part of support. our lives. And, and it's like, the, the weight of that is, is is strong. And when you guys say things to me like, you know, hey man, nothing like a good cup of coffee in the morning and watching an episode of Five Star, it's like, I don't want to let you guys down. I want to make sure that that video is there for you. And, you, and trust me, when I miss those two months, the last two Mondays, it, it's really hard for me to do that because my work ethic is amazing. I just, I, it, you know, I don't want to stop, but mm -hmm. it's like sometimes life just kind of is like, oh, hey, man, um, you know, you need, you need to do this. And it's like, ah, but the guys, the guys want the, yeah, but you need to do this. It's like, okay. But yeah, so, and we appreciate everything, you know, that's, it's of a course. circle of life. Uh, yeah. Dean, you miss doing installs back in the day like the video old school installs. Uh, so, we filmed three of those back to back. So there's, there's three more that are already filmed of the yeah. old school. We're probably going to end up that. I think I have oh, what? ten, nine or... So I think that's going to be maybe six video sequence that we have. I think we have enough to do six. I could be wrong. Um, you're kind of going to get the answer to that question as we go through this. Because <laughs> the videos kind of tell a history of, of things, at least the ones that we filmed. And then we're going to add in more that I found after the fact. So it would be really cool. And, and I'm glad you guys liked that because it was a lot of fun. But the, the story, we it, it, it's almost like a uh, those three that we shot, the first three that we shot, are... are, are it's kind of like Star Wars. We have, yep. a, you know, the Empire, uh, New Hope, Empire, and Return. What's up, Anthony? Um... And then we can go back and we can do a Phantom Menace, and then we can go back and do whatever the other crap. Do you guys yet. prank each other? Make a video. Hello. The only no. friend I like, I don't bother him. No. Uh, other than I bother him. He Dean. bothers the out of me. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. He likes I the put the can with uh, oh. microphone bags. I mean, you know, I you know, seal it, put it like behind the tire, and when I back up, of course, it's like back. So Dean is doing something, and he's like, what the. I'm like, yeah, that's me, man. Or sometimes it's like, hey, man, this one doesn't work. And it's like, oh, really? Let me see. Never mind, man. It's working. So it's like, yeah, yeah. Especially, yeah, yeah. He loves doing that. Yeah, oh, so. man. And I'll be like, <laughs> so. No, well, he's I'm, about I'm, to go to the bathroom and like, hey, Dean, can you check it out? Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? No, nothing is yeah. working fine. I'm, like, I'm not evil like that. I don't, you know, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not that, I'm not that bad. <laughs> Uh, Not ever, that evil. Uh, was it ever try anchoring a subwoofer box to the child tethering points under the rear cushion cables? Um, <laughs> no, I've seen that done. Um, no, but we haven't we haven't done that. Uh, what is the nastiest thing you found in someone's car? Ooh, you want to play that game, shall we? So obviously, you know, <sighs> vomit, uh, poop, diapers. No, man. Those are those are those are child's play. Had an H2 ball player brought in his car for us to, to, to do some service work frogs. on. <laughs> frogs, dead frogs, live frogs. Ugh. Bats. That's a personal thing. Bats. Um, live bats, little fruit bats. Fold up the Not back seat. Like, what, what the? What the? What's. Fold up the back seat. Maggots crawling all over the floor. Pool of vomit. That was really tough. He hates bugs, so anytime there's a bug in a car, you guarantee he's gonna jump. Oh um, no, man! Like but, you know. Oh, what's up, Bismarck? Watch us and all that. I was, I like, wear, I was wearing my Modesto shirt the other day. Oh yeah, I was yeah, yeah. Of Bismarck. Cool. Um, how about finding drugs? Bonnie drug one. Yeah. All bricks, the time. lots of bricks of pot, lots mm -hmm. of bricks of pot. Guns. Guns. Guns are fun. Uh, oh, I didn't even know that gun was there. Yeah. 
So, had a guy. We call him Inspector Gadget. A dead body. No, not yet, buddy. Not yet. <laughs> we call this guy Inspector Gadget. Two, two, two stories. Inspector Gadget, he, back in the day, um, Alpine made these alarms called an 8070 and an 8080. They were the first alarms that had little keypads. So, total? it had a keypad, had four buttons on it. And you could run them together. So, you could run an 8070 into an 8070 into an 8080. So, you could actually have four of the alarms. This guy wanted this car to do everything. He wanted it to unlock each door individually. Yeah. All the states... So we're taking out his back seat. Big brick of pot tucked up underneath his back seat. We're like, oh, great. So we call him up. He's like, oh, bro, no problem, man. Comes in there, picks it up, takes it. Hey, thanks, man. Thank you, you guys want any? And I'm like, I was like, no, my installer's another story. But yeah, second funny one is we're working on this guy's da, uh, GMC Safari style van, okay? And we're doing a wall of eight eights. Now, what this guy would do is he'd go fishing every night on the Skyway. The Skyway is a big bridge we have here, and they have a big fishing pier. So he would go fishing on this every night. So we had eight eights. JBL used to make these plates. They were there's a five and a quarter and a tweeter and a plate. They were made to go on your rear deck. A row of each. There was like four on each side. Went down the side of the box. Plus, uh, I think this is Chigillis. I think mm -hmm. he put like four sixes in each door, along with the TO6 tweeter that they used to make. Tons of Orion amplifiers. Neon, actual neon everywhere. We bought the interface so it would blink. This is years and years ago. Okay, so we're working on the car, and we have the hood open. And we see something buried in the hood, and we're like, what the heck is that? It looks like a fanny pack. That's to give you an idea. Fanny packs were in. They're in now, too. But um, So anyways, reach in there and pull out this fanny pack. And we're like, what the hell? Unzip it. Do is a filing case of hundreds, $100 bills. It's just hundreds after hundreds after hundreds. It's $5,000 in hundreds in a fanny pack underneath, stuck in his engine block. We're like... Uh, okay. Went up front, called the guy up, said, Hey man, we just found a fanny pack with 5G in your engine block. What do you want to do? You know, and he's like, Put it back. <laughs> really? We're like, Yeah. He goes, Oh man, I thought that was gone, man. That was like from three months ago, dog. Okay. Can we put more stuff in my van? <laughs> I got more cash. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it, bro. Let's do it. Yeah. So that's where all the red Christmas you know, yeah, came so, early. Yeah, he was stoked. That's cool. That's but cool. Apparently, what happened was he was fishing. He took his fanny pack off, set it on the hood of the van. I would never take that fanny pack off. But <laughs> and it fell in and it spun and yeah. And he was too stoned out of his mind to know what happened to it. So wow. he just thought he lost it. Bro. That's crazy. Uh, favorite old school SQ components. There wasn't any. I'm not gonna lie. Back in the day, I ran Morel, and that was it. And there was really nothing else that that we, you know, um, no, there was there was nothing. I mean, Focal K2s. That was like I went from Morel to Focal K2s. That was it. That was how my life rolled. Oh, oh and in between there, I had Macintosh. So like the ones that Doug keeps talking about, the Macintosh speakers had all that stuff. Every time I see him, I cry just a little because I used to have all that stuff. That little cool amp that he got with the broken piece of glass mm -hmm. on it. Hey, had, what's up, Anthony? He's sad. editing his video right now. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. cool. Can't Anthony. wait to see it. I yeah. saw he was filming something the other yeah. day. Um, great story, yeah, great man. Great story, yeah. Uh, remember the old Q Logic bandpass boxes? Yeah, oh, yeah, we had lots of those. Uh, yeah. um, it's a shame to sh uh, vacuum it all up. Shame. Blew it. Shame. Blew it. Yeah, got to run. See you Monday. Okay, Biggie, big, uh, Biggie 64. Biggie 64. Uh, howdy from Texas. Texas, lots of Texas. Texas Here, Texas. I've learned a lot from you guys. Keep going. Apparently, have you seen any of the jokes on Texas? What's his name? Mel? Mel, yeah. Mel goes, it's two degrees in Texas. Apparently, anything below 80 degrees, it might as well just be two degrees in freezing. He posted a picture of, looks, of a guy in a Tauntaun from Star Wars, okay. from Empire Strikes Back. Um, he's like, this is my current situation. And he's like, I'm like, <laughs> I, I, I'm, I don't know. I'm not in Texas. I'm like, is it really that cold in Texas? And I was like, no, it's like 78. You know? <laughs> so Mel is one of, um, it's, a, it's actually one of the reps from App Global. Yeah, he's one. he works the, with Eckley. Yeah. He does what Eckley does. We met him at the um, Knowledge Fest. Yeah. So 
He's a Macintosh. cool guy. That's really old school. We'll talk Macintosh stories on another show because I got a lot of them. There was nothing Guys, like he's trying. past seven. I know. We're getting oh ready. Oh, my to, God. I'm, getting, I'm, I'm, I'm wrapping it up here because I was going to say, there's nothing like trying to sell somebody, ponder this, a 4x50-watt amplifier for $1,000. I did it a lot of times. All right, guys. And with that, we're going to call it a night. Thank you guys so much for watching, Thank as you, always. Thank you, new supporters. It's been fun. We talked about Patreon. If you want to become a Patreon member, you get a video podcast Thank as you. part of your membership. Thank you so much. And, of course, you get your name mentioned at the end of the Monday show, which Correct. comes on YouTube on Friday, uh, Tuesdays. Uh, DNF Tool Drawer is a place where you can find all your cool tools. Uh, hopefully, next this uh, next month, we're going to get that all updated so that you guys can refer all your loved ones there when they say, hey, what do you want for Christmas? I want you to go to DNF Tool Drawer and pick out something cool to buy, maybe a cool bullfrog to put in your garage or hang out in the back deck with. We're going to put links to all that fun stuff mm -hmm. there. Hopefully by November. Um, what is it, October? Yeah. November, uh, for next it's month. Uh, and then, of course, Teespring slash yeah. store slash five stars, a place where you can get cool five star t shirts. There's three new ones up there for you guys. Correct. The guy today just ordered his addiction t shirt. Cool. I got to order one of those too. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's all. That's all we got. If you guys are in See Tampa, and we're going to be at Bush Gardens tonight. If any of you guys are going to be in Tampa House at Bush Gardens, Make sure you wave and say hi. Otherwise, enjoy where you're at and what you're doing. Be safe. Call an Uber if you're going to do something stupid or a Lyft, whichever you prefer. Don't drive home dumb. See you guys later. See you guys later. Have a wonderful night as always. And we'll don't, see don't you forget, guys. Monday is going to be... Nothing. Monday is just going to be a show. Oh, there's going to be a show. That's so 12th when he's of coming? November. 12th of November. 12th exactly. of November. We'll talk about that more later. All you right, guys bye. have a wonderful evening. Bye. I was so excited.